latest update on Cyclone Bogito, which is currently located at 18.1 degrees south, 63.2 degrees east. As of 6 a.m. Mauritius time on January 14th, it had winds of 60 miles per hour and a pressure of 991 millibars, an intensifying storm which is potentially delivering tropical storm force winds to the island of Rodrigues, where a Class 3 warning has been put in place by Mauritius. Uh, strong winds expected there and occurring and possibly flooding rains. This is what the storm is going to be doing over the next few days. You can see it developing. This is just one model's point of view. They are rather divergent um, and a lot of them have some bad scenarios for the main Masserine Islands of Mauritius and Reunion as the storm moves through. But that's what is currently on our forecast there. Possibly hurricane force winds for those islands but it's still very uncertain. Uh, you have to keep posted on the latest updates as we do find out over the next few days. Here it is right now, still a stage 2 on the CDPS scale but the wind field has increased remarkably um, and we do expect that tropical storm force winds with winds of 40 miles an hour or more are occurring on the island of Rodrigues where people should be taking cover and uh, be prepared for this storm. So as we enter the next few days you can see the storm taking shape. Uh, on this particular imagery here and as it moves towards St. Brandon which is a possibility though some models take it further south the potential chance of tropical storm conditions will be increasing there and then towards Mauritius and to Reunion where those percentages raise in the midweek towards the later part of the week where we could see tropical storm or hurricane conditions later on but we won't speculate too much on that but it's just a wait and see game more than anything right now as the storm still hasn't realized um, its track or its forecast potential. Sea surface temperatures are currently rather warm, 27 or 28 degrees Celsius, certainly enough to sustain a developing cyclone like this. And looking at this probably concerning picture here, wind shear has gone right down and is near nil over the storm right now. There's a, a significant amount ahead of the storm, but that appears to have completely evaporated in the last few hours, so wind shear very low. Not much to see on the visible because uh, night has fallen of course and the first visible imagery hasn't quite arrived just yet. Uh, but the infrared imagery shows uh, what could possibly be a developing eye wall but I'm not too convinced about that yet. Uh, but the storm certainly is developing as a whole and uh, enough to put it up to 60 miles per hour <coughs> sustained winds and a pressure of 991 millibars with an expanding wind field. You can see quite clearly how the storm has been growing in the last few hours. This I think is a 12 hour loop showing how the storms are progressing. More to come soon. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com which is under construction at the moment but we're getting on it. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 and subscribe if you haven't already. We're also on Facebook, at put us a like, search Force 13 and it's the same on Twitter. Send us a tweet and follow us at Force 13 on Twitter. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and add my personal account, Fool13, extension 9094 on Discord. This update was brought to you by Force 13 in partnership for this storm with Matteo Acyclone Maurice. Check the description for details.